Hi, welcome back to Learn Payload with Colin. We are back working on our real estate marketplace platform, our fictitious agency called 10 Homes, T-E-N-N -N Homes. And I just, I previously published a video where a small little conversation around a, a, a slight change in direction. Uh, this, uh, that video, go check that video out because it'll set some of the context for what we are doing uh, today. And so um, there's, there's, I ha I'll have a bunch of links in the description to get you all caught up if you're just now joining. Um, I have a full project plan. We're gonna be deploying, I'm gonna be building a production ready uh, real estate marketplace, um, fully deployed. We're gonna go through uh, A to Z on how to get that production ready. And maybe you can shop it around to your agents in your local area uh, for them and uh, make make some money uh, as, as a contractor consultant. And so uh, that's my goal here is to kind of uh, provide that kind of value to my my uh, subscribers, those who are interested in um, uh, building a business on using their 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 web development skills. And so um, so today, uh, as, as I mentioned in the previous video, we're gonna be starting over. Uh, I had previously started on the project, but I'm taking a little bit of a different direction. Uh, and so I'm just gonna start over. We're gonna, we're gonna build a payload app, a payload CMS with Next.js app from scratch. We're gonna get Tailwind installed as well as ShadCN because we're gonna be using a lot of those templates for, um, for, the, uh, for dashboards, but also authentication screens for one-time password and reset password, verify password, also email integrations uh, with uh, getting some nice templates for email. Um, but yeah, that's what Tailwind and ShadCN are gonna be used for, But and that's all we're gonna do today. We're gonna just get that set up, get Tailwind installed and ShadCN. And then we'll follow up with a, a video shortly after this where we actually start diving into uh, collections. Um, also, if you haven't seen the proposed data model, I also have a link uh, in the description below so you can see kind of what we're, how, how we've sort of uh, modeled our real estate platform. And so and some of the rationale as far as um, what kind of collections uh, we are going to build. But I'll review that when we get to that point. When we start talking about collections, I'm going to do a review on the data model. All right, with that said, uh, let's jump right into it. We're going to start um, building a CMS, P payload CMS app from scratch. Okay, we're over here on, we're going to go to payload. Make, sh make sure that uh, we follow their most up-to-date instructions. So we'll just copy this. Demo. It's asking us which template uh, they we want to uh, start with. And we're going to choose blank because um, we don't want their website template includes a huge amount of opinionated uh, or code and organization um, that we're not going to want to do because we're we're here to learn how to use how to build payload CMS. We don't want their opinions, although their their opinions are they build it they built a great template, but we're here to learn, and um, we're, the best way to learn is to do it ourselves. So we're going to choose the blank template. We're also going to choose Postgres SQL. And I already have a Postgres, Postgres instance running in a local uh, Docker container. And I'm actually running that on 5431 because I don't, don't want it to conflict with another Postgres instance that I'm using for other projects. 
and then I just made the password password and um, it already named the the database for us real estate dash demo according to what our project name is and when you instantiate a payload CMS app you don't even have to create the database yourself it'll create it for us when we load the app for the first time okay let's cd into there okay so let's um now that we've installed it we follow the prompts add to an existing app uh, right this is for existing okay so the next step is to just get it running and see see if it uh works and it connected to a da database properly so we're going to do pnpm dev And that should have started. We'll just copy this over, open this up in the browser. Okay, so uh, our app compiled. And now let's go to the admin panel to uh, get our first user created. And again, this will take a little moment to compile for the first time. This is going to redirect us to the account create page uh, for us to create our first user. We'll just call this admin at example.com admin123 admin admin123. All right, we're in. So uh, it all works great. So now let's um, get Tailwind installed. Head on over to the, we're gonna use version four. Framework guides, Next.js. Um, this first step is they, you create a Next app. We don't need to do that. So we just wanna install this stuff here. We're gonna cancel out of that, pnpm add. Added that. All right. Now let's add our post CSS config file. Okay. Did that. And then update our CSS file. That should be it. Let's go to the page, get rid of all of the uh, demo code. And let's add some class names to just double check that. Uh, oops. Double check that Tailwind is loaded. We don't need any of this or this. All right, let's run our app again. pretty good all right so we have we set up our initial we installed payload CMS and now we uh, got tailwind working version 4 and the last step for this video is we're gonna add shad CN and make sure you click on this tailwind version 4 link here get started next JS and then just copy this just 
stick with neutral. We have our components. That's weird. Okay. That's fine. All right. <clears throat> so it looks like Shadcian's running, and let's add the button to the home page just to double check. go okay so that is it for this video primarily but uh, I did want to talk through a, a little bit of reorganization some house cleaning in this app um, we don't need this my route uh, front end we'll leave that there's some reorganization I'm going to be doing with this but uh, we'll leave that for a future video so yeah, the last thing I like to do uh, when I'm setting up a payload app for the first time is I like to create a config folder. And then anything that is payload related for configuration, email adapters, storage adapters, collections, um, uh, endpoints, uh, global settings, anything that is used to configure the payload app I just throw in the config folder keeps everything nice and tidy rather than having it all sit out in the root uh, you may have seen that in some examples and I just that's my preference is just to move everything in there so that's in there and then all my collections I like to throw it in folders because there may be some related assets and functionality that um, ta are tied to uh, that collection and I want to keep them all snug in their own little folders oops And then make sure you look at your config file, make sure everything's still there. Users, media, move to a config folder. And that should be it. Let's make sure everything's still running and get back into our admin panel. Just make sure everything's still there. Um, where is, oh, there we go. It's just recompiling, I think, yeah. Uh, why? Oh, you know what? I didn't save this. This, you can see here, this isn't saved yet. You probably noticed that. And this should be good to go. There we are. All right. Everything's working. Cool. All right. Uh, with that, let's make our first commit. And I'll see you in the next video. Create our commit message. All right, that's it. Uh, we'll see you in the next one where we start talking about uh, collections. All right, thanks a lot.